some of the earlier beer trays and some of the earlier stationery to have Leopold F. Schmidt on it. Uh, the well, Tiffany Brewing Company and the Olympia Brewing Company and Centennial Brewing Company were all founded by Schmitz. Well, now how is it that your, if your grandfather ended up back in New York, in Chicago as an architect, how did your father... Well, no, this wasn't my grandfather that ended up back there. This was my great uncle, uh, oh, Leopold's okay. son. Which one was your grandfather? And uh, my great grandfather was Leopold F. Schmidt. Who was your grandfather? And uh, my immediate grandfather? Yeah. Okay, my agree immediate grandfather, for, so, so for some reason, to my knowledge, my in immediate grandparents came from Germany, migrated from Germany, and most of them during the war. And they resided in, in, in Dickinson, North Dakota, part of Chicago, and part of uh, uh, Maine. And I guess the reason being is, is as I put it together, Leopold had the financial backing to bring a lot of them over, and this continued for generation to generation. Well, upon the arrival to the United States, my great, my grandmother, immediate grandmother, who passed away just recently, uh, Elizabeth uh, D. Schmidt, or Elizabeth Schmidt, and Peter D. Schmidt, my grandfather, who passed away before her, was ran over by a tractor in Oregon. Uh, they resided in Dickinson, North Dakota. During their years in Dickinson, North Dakota, my uncle, whom I, I, I am also named after, Richard E. Schmidt, but another generation, Richard E. Schmidt, had helped build the Lehigh Perchetti plant there in the uh, uh, Ivanhoe Hotel, which later became famous due to the fact that the commercials were filmed there for uh, Philip Moore's cigarettes. Call for Philip Moore's, the, the bellhop there. And they also built the German-Hungarian Hall there and were instrumental in getting it, bringing it into development. And today, during a, a visit there about oh, 10, 12 years ago, I went back there for a visit and I found a lot out in that I have a grandfather there on my on my dad's side and uh, he got wealthy off the oil business during the oil boom era throughout the Williston Basin, Dickinson, North Dakota and Wilson, North Dakota, Kildare, North Dakota and, and clear into uh, Billings, Montana, my city, Montana. and. He took me around, he introduced me a few of our other relatives there that are still existing today. And I have an aunt there that works in the bank and she's president of the bank. And I have another one there, it's chief of police, and another one there that has the Richard Schmidt Lincoln Mercury Ford dealership. And he immediately knew who I was when I, up on my arrival there. And he lent me a car that was necessary for me to get around that area from the dealership there. And he let me use it to run around and looking for a job because it, it, uh, I wanted to work in the oil fields there and I later got a job working for a, a trucking company called Mat Matador Fuel Services which hired mud in, for, in water for capping wells and then I, I got a job for a while seismographing and then I came back to Butte, Montana and that's a story in itself because I always come back to Butte, Montana a funny thing about Butte, Montana, if you're a native here, you'll, you'll realize this and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Butte is like a magnet. You can move away many, many, many times. But unless it is sincerely in your heart to come back, you're going to find yourself back here because for some reason it brings you back. And I have lived all of the United States over the years, but I always come back to Butte, Montana. Anyway, uh, what brought your mom and dad here? Uh, well, getting back to Dickinson, North Dakota, they also built the Lehigh Briquetti plant there, which today manufactured Kingsford Edge briquettes. Then, for whatever reason, during the Dust Bowl years, I guess the government had a thing that 
if you were a farmer, they'd relocate you either in Oregon or California. They'd give you money to relocate. So my immediately immediate parents, my mom and dad's grandmothers and grandparents, which were or my grandparents, dad to them, uh, had moved to Oregon and immediately bought bought up property there all over Oregon, Yamhill, McBenville, Lake Oswego, Carlton, Falls Grove, Dallas, King City, Taggerton. And it turned out that my uncle had built a place there called King City or was instrumental in its development. And he is a, an architect. And I have an uncle there that also works in the police force there outside of Forest Grove. And then uh, my grandparents start buying up property there and putting up uh, the hotels and, and little apartments and stuff and then had a, a farm there and it turned out that my grandfather was ran over by a tractor and this tore him up on his shoulder and hit part of his stomach and he died a few years later and then grandma just recently died four years ago she was 102 years old and my dad my immediately dad Ernest Nick Schmidt for whatever reasons, did not like North Dakota, so I, I don't know yet if he had left the family from North Dakota or if he had left from Oregon to come to Butte. But anyway, he wind up here in Butte, and he worked in the mines for 38 years. And What year did he get here? Uh, I believe he came here in the year, well, there's a picture right above, of him right above your head there if you'd hand it to me. And the first mine that he worked here in Butte is at the Badger State Mine. And as, as I know it, he came to Butte when he was 17 years old. And this picture, picture right here is with a rock drill known as a Widowmaker down in the Badger State Mine when he was 17 or 18 years old. And I believe this one right here was taken at the high ore. But I, I'm not sure. But anyway... Uh, he came to Butte here to work in the mines, and he was a miner on and off basically all his life up until the years that we moved to Oregon in 69 and came back in 72, and there was a break in his sonority. However, he started working down here on the, the hill down here where uh, with he caught diabetes, and he passed away of diabetes, but my mother preceded him in death. My mother also died of diabetes. Was your mother Hungarian-German? Uh, my family is basically German-Hungarian, yes. And uh, my name is German, and although I'm, I'm German-Hungarian uh, descent, descendants. Well, did, they, did, your, did Leopold, uh, was he a leader in the German-Hungarian community here in Butte, do you know? I'm not sure. However, you know, I've touched on this, and I've went through the archives, and there are many, many articles about him. And uh, what I'm trying to do right now, and I really, li really like to try to do this because I'm, I'm, I'm 43 going on 44 be before I pass away, is I like to get a family tree and get this information to where it is right down in front of me and I can look on it and, and put it together so that I know. But I, I do know for sure that they, they had started the German and Hungarian Hall there in Dickinson, North Dakota. Was there and a similar place here in Butte? Uh... I'm not sure I've heard that there was, but I'm not sure where the location was or, or if in fact there was, but now that you mention it, I'd like to find out. Can we take a snapshot of that picture of your dad again, please? Mm -hmm.